Hello, everyone, for an audio edition of Voice of Reason. This is Jake Schwartz, and we're here at the Gallagher Athletic Center, the Philadelphia University basketball game. Philadelphia University has defeated New Haven today, another nice win for a divi wonderful Division II school, and we're joined by, we've never had this man who I have known and had many basketball roads with since I was probably a little boy, probably about nine years old, and I want to take away the name that he has. I want to take away all the wins and all the games that he's ever coached. I want to talk to my good friend, Hall of Famer, the shot doctor, Herb Mickey. Herb, welcome. Good to see you. Thank you, man. It's a pleasure. It's always good. It's always good when I get to be around the great Herb Mickey. Well, I appreciate that. Well, did you know that all the years that we've known each other, we've both discussed basketball stuff back and forth, and I've done a lot of good basketball games here at the Scholastic Play-By-Play -play with Jeremy Treatment, so that's something that I want to say I'm very uh, proud of. Now, I know where you're from and what you've done. I want to talk to you about where you started and how you became the shot doctor. Let's let's start from the high school to about the till you came here. Well, I knew I wasn't going to be... Uh a big strong guy when I was growing up so I figured the only way I'm going to make the team at West Catholic High School is to become a shooter so I dedicated myself and I worked at it and worked at it and I never missed a day practicing for like years and years and years. The most dedicated human being I've ever known and yeah. then how did you uh, how did you get here to Philly University? Bucky Harris was my coach he saw me play in the summer league came to see us play uh, at, when I was at West Catholic offered me a scholarship and I had decided I was going to stay in the city uh, to go to college, and this was the only school in the city that offered me a ride. I had some uh, scholarship offers outside, but this was the only one in the city, filled up the textile. What, what did this become, how did this, how did you become uh, the shot doctor? I mean, all the years that you, anybody that's been in this uh, basketball game as long as you have, and anybody who has developed uh, kids for as long as you have, and how, how did you start becoming the guy who couldn't miss foul shots? Well, as like I said, I practiced all the time, and I was very effective. Bucky Harris, when he was my coach, yeah. centered the offense around me. So any time a coach does that, uh, it automatically gives you a lot of confidence. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I had an opportunity to shoot whenever I was open, and I was very successful at it. Then when I got out of college, and four years later named the head coach, I started speaking at camps. And the very first camp I spoke at was now called the Hoop Group. Yeah. Up in the Poconos, Bob Kennedy, God rest his soul, said to me, uh, what do you want to talk about? And I said, anything. I said, you pick the topic, he said. So I said, all right, I'll talk about shooting. So I talked that day about shooting, and ever since then, I've never talked about anything but shooting at a camp or a clinic, and this is what I do. And then a couple times, a couple NBA teams grabbed me. Yeah, Jack McKinney was the coach of the Indiana Pacers. Mm -hmm. I went out and worked with his team. We improved their foul shooting. I've worked with numerous guys from the Sixers, uh, a number of guys throughout the league, and Charles Barkley was one of them, and we increased and improved their shooting. So I guess, I don't know how that name started, but I guess somebody said, well, if you want to get your shot fixed, go to the doctor, and they said, Herb McGee's the shot doctor. You know, one of the biggest names of people that I know extremely well is Dave Hoppola. I hear that you worked with him many times. How did he end up becoming a great shooting coach well, like he is now? Uh, Dave has told me on numerous occasions that he was at camps when I used to speak. Mm -hmm. And he picked up some of the stuff that I do and then did, did some stuff on his own. You know, and I didn't work with him individually, but he had seen me lecture. And now since then, as you know, uh, he's with, uh, I'm not sure what team he's with, might be the Pistons. I think, yeah, yeah, I think been, so. He was mm -hmm. with the Washington team. So he's been around, and every single team in that league right now has a shooting coach. And Dave happens to be theirs and does a good job. Now, in all the years that you've ever been coaching here at Philly University, you've had great players. Describe some of the great names that have come through this uh, hollow Well, gym. we had our alumni game tonight, and at the alumni game, didn't play, was Tehran Thomas, our all-time mm -hmm. leading scorer. Yeah. Randy Stover was a first-team All-American. He's on my staff. He played for us in the 90s. And great college coaches have come through here. Pat Chambers and Pat uh, Chambers, Stevie Al Donahue, Angelos. Al Angelos, Stevie Donahue. Uh, Billy Lang, the assistant with the Sixers. Yes. Started his career with me. So we've had a lot of guys uh, come through as coaches and a lot of guys come through as players. And uh, I would never say this is the best player I've ever had. No, because you've I've had would, a lot of them. I've got a ton of them. You know what I mean? So, but we had a lot of guys that could really play the game, and that's the reason we were successful. Yeah, and I mean, you've also had, we've had some great uh, basketball high school and showcase type of events. And what do you think of those uh, scholastic play-by-play -play events that Jeremy Treatment does here? I think they're terrific, and what helps us is the fact that they're held here, so when we recruit a kid, we can tell them, this is where you're going to play your college career. And they see how nice our facility is, and it really is a big help. They see how nice our campus is. So we don't even, some, many times we don't even have the kid 
take him around because he's already been here and he's playing in those AAU events and like you said that they showcase things with Jeremy Treat. They get to hear the best announcer, don't they? Yeah, that's what I've heard, buddy. That's what's what I've a, heard. what's what's going on with the the current team this year? Peter Alexis is probably one of the biggest names coming back, and there's a lot of other great names. And you've also brought in Brendan Kilpatrick, and yes. now Jamel Holbrook is about set to uh, come yeah. in. Uh, yes. What what can what can you tell us about this? Well, year? you know, this year we started off, and we I dismissed a very good player uh, from the team uh, for team rules. We had another kid, our, our next best player, tore his ACL the very first day of practice, is out for the year. He's the young fellow sitting on the bench. We had another kid, this is unusual, didn't come back, terrific player, did not come back because he had invented a coffee drink and he wanted to spend all his time working, yeah, on, his, of course. working on his coffee drink. So we lose three of our top five or six guys before the season even starts. But these guys like Kaysan Randolph, who was, who was with us. Yeah, of course. You know, he played in one of your things. Yes, he did. And uh, uh, Kill Brendan, who was a very good player at Malvern Prep. And he was. Had a nice career up, and then he decided to come back and finish his career here at Billy U. Uh, TJ, TJ's a good player. You know, you know what I mean? There's a lot of great names, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think one of the things that I'm very fond of of what you've done, which has led you to, by the way, a path into the NBA Hall of Fame with over a thousand wins, and I just wanted to also be the one of many people to congratulate you on that I because I never did get that opportunity to do that when I, you got I, that because I, I emailed you actually a few days later and yeah. said, Herb, from the voice, I have to congratulate I you. Remember, what was that feeling like well, when you first, got so that? Well, it's not the NBA; it's the college. It's the not. No, the, it's I, not, yeah. it's the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, which includes everybody who's ever played, coached, or... That's right. Uh, I have in, to refer it to exactly. that. I absolutely it's, it's do. Naismith Most definitely. Now, that was the individually, individually, not team-wise, but individually the greatest experience of my basketball life. Uh, anybody who's ever been to the Hall of Fame, you see the, the class act, that, they, that the way they run it, it's fabulous. So that was it for me. That's the epitome of, uh, of uh, personal fame. It's the Hall of Fame. And then the other stuff, the thousand wins and all this stuff, I was happy for the players because they got a lot of notoriety last year for that. I want to thank again Herb McGee, the head basketball coach at Philadelphia University. And if there's anybody that I could ever ask for being in the Hall of Fame, do you think that I could be the next person you in the Hall of Fame? You got it for sure. I want to also, again, thank you because of what you've done, not just for for me, but for Jeremy Treatment, because you have impacted my life, even as a kid, when I got to watch at Joe Weber's basketballs, okay. Coach's yeah, Choice sure, Camp, if you that. remember, yeah, sure, when I was about nine, and I went home to my parents and told my folks that there was this guy that kept calling himself the shot doctor. I never saw a guy miss a shot. You've not only impacted my life there, but you've also impacted my life here at Scholastic Play by Play. And Herb McGee, we thank you I as always. It. It's great to see you. Appreciate we'll hopefully uh, talk to you uh, during the season. Anytime, man. That's uh, Herb McGee, the shock doctor of Philadelphia University. As Herb McGee joins us, as Philadelphia University once again pulls off a win as they defeat New Haven. Herb McGee talking about his illustrious Hall of Fame basketball career. He's over a thousand wins here at Gallagher Athletic Center. So, we want to thank all of our guests here at Newman, Newman Garetti, Damir Cosby Roundtree, as well as Zane Martin headed to Towson State. We want to thank DJ Harvey and Markel Foltz of DeMatha. And we want to thank my friend, the shot doctor, Herb McGee. For all of us on this Thanksgiving weekend here at Voice of Reason, I'm Jake Schwartz. We'll see you at the games.